Now, why general theory of relativity is called general? Now, if you look in this very word general, you might think that, well, if it is general, then there should be something very special. And the answer is actually yes. Before Einstein arrived at a covariant theory of gravity, it was applicable only to the constant velocity frames which are not accelerating. Uh, areas which are under constant velocity and not accelerating, the laws or the equations of motion were applicable over there. Now this was actually the foundation of what is called special theory of relativity and after that Einstein thought that why do we restrict ourselves only to constant velocity or things which are not accelerating, why don't we take this uh, theory into other areas or other frames of reference when it is actually accelerated. When things are moving, it is not at constant velocity, which is called non-inertial frames of reference. So that is why when we move the entire theory and the equations to accelerating frame of references, there the word general theory or general relativity actually comes in. That means whatever has been framed, the equations or the mathematics, now can be be applicable to a much more general frame of reference so if the frame of reference is accelerating if it is rotating if it is squeezing if it is moving it is around black hole if it is in free space all the laws of nature or the mathematics will equally work well in general frames of reference so it is not that general relativity came out of a sudden or out of a burst, but it is actually an extension of special relativity from the area which was restricted only to uh, you know inertial frame. Now it got generalized to a general frame. Hence the word general theory of relativity expands and ensures that the laws of mathematics or the laws of nature or the mathematics will also be applicable and will be invariant under general frames of reference where there is stretching, movement, rotation and everything. Hence the word general theory of relativity.